evidence of a massive cover-up with respect to 9-11 itself. I spoke to both Governor Kane and Congressman Hamilton, the co-chairs of the 9-11 Commission, last September 11th. And they both admit that there are outright falsehoods in their official 9-11 Commission report. They know they were lied to and that those lies made their way into the final report, a report that they had almost no control over. It was written by Philip Zelikow. White House flag. The bottom line is that the official 9-11 report, tightly controlled by the White House, amounts to little but a gigantic cover-up. When combined with the confiscation of videotapes, audio tapes, black boxes, and other evidence by the FBI, it is clear that regardless of who was responsible for 9-11, the subsequent cover-up was itself a conspiracy involving elements of the White House and the intelligence establishment. Now remember, Richard Nixon wasn't undone by the two-bit break-in at the Watergate, but for the cover-up. Bill Clinton wasn't impeached for his sexual encounters with Monica Whiskey, but for stretching the truth about it in the past. Scooter Libby isn't in jail for leaking Valerie Plain's identity, but for lying about when he learned about it. Martha Stewart didn't serve time for insider trading, but for not telling the truth about it. Is there anyone who believes the American people have been told just the truth about 9-11? You know, this raises the question, in addition to the question of why, why are they still out of jail, this raises the question, if the Bush administration had nothing to hide, why did they hide everything? Yeah. <laughs> were they covering up guilt or incompetence? If they were protecting the incompetent, how come no one was fired or demoted or court-martialed, or even reprimanded. And if they were protecting the guilty, were the guilty parties Saudis, Pakistanis, Israelis, Americans, all the above? We don't know. And why on earth aren't the corporate media asking these questions? Well, I think we know a little of the answer that corporations that own them are the same corporations who profit from the subsequent wars. Perhaps a more important question is why aren't the people's representatives in Congress asking these questions and demanding
When asked why, they said, well, we don't have any evidence against it. <laughs> Dedicated researchers have proven that it could not have happened the way the Bush administration said it did. Hijacked airliners do not fly around for an hour or 40 minutes without being intercepted unless our air defense system was deliberately sabotaged. Steel buildings do not implode and fall at free fall speed because of the kerosene fire. Matter of fact, steel buildings don't come down at all because of the kerosene fire. And Building 7 wasn't even struck by an aircraft. Now, if any of you have never seen a video of Building 7 coming down, you should. As a matter of fact,